Hey everybody, welcome to Off-Road 801. Got a little adventure planned today. We snuck across the border down into Arizona and the Arizona Strip. I'm gonna go try to find White Pocket. It's supposed to be as nice as the wave. And if I can find it, we'll find out. It's in the beautiful Vermilion Cliff National Monument. So hold on, here we go. Don't go back that way. Four-wheel drive, high clearance required. Okay, I found the West Peb, the West Bench Pueblo Archaeology Site. The West Bench Pueblo Archaeology. I can't say it. We found some Indian artifacts. This is an archaeological site, so somebody dug them up for us. See the little designs in them. Very cool. Here's a bunch more. We'll go look over where they dug it all up. Yeah, this was the excavation site right here. Our adventure isn't going very well. I let Google be the navigator today. And I don't think she knows where this place is. So we're circling back. Hopefully I can find it with some of my navigation skills because Google's navigation doesn't seem to be working too well today. So hopefully we can find it. I'll see you in a little bit. Even though that road didn't go where I wanted it to, it's still fun. Fun little sandy two-track swerving in and out of the junipers. It's pretty fun. See how far you can go in the sand in two-wheel drive.
Well, so far this morning, we've found some beautiful camping spots in the Vermilion Cliffs area. I'm standing in one right now. I wish I could camp here, but I didn't bring any of my camping gear. You got your little fire pit. All these pretty red rocks around it. Let's go on top of this rock and see what kind of view we got. Okay, I just wanted to show you that camp spot. We're gonna keep going. Hopefully we can find White Pocket. Like I said on my Las Vegas episode, I don't like to gamble. So that's why I didn't go to the wave. You gotta do like a lottery drawing to actually go hike to the wave. So we're going to White Pocket. We don't need no lottery. made it to White Pocket. We're gonna go wander around, check it out. Looks like some pretty cool rock formations so far. I'm excited. And I'm excited I get to fly my drone here too. So hopefully we get some good shots. It's a little bit windy, but I'm still gonna try. Okay, the four by four sign required, true. You need four wheel drive, you need high clearance, Mostly due to the sand. I went in as far as I could in two wheel drive. I needed four wheel drive, even in the Jeep. The sand's really hard to walk in. It's really soft. It's early in the year. So I imagine when it gets warmer, it gets even softer. This place is pretty crazy. Some nice rock formations. I think I'm gonna go up to the top here, look around, see if we can uh, see where the coolest spot to go is. Let's go.
Okay, looks like we need to go over there. Let's go. Almost looks like reptile skin or something. Maybe it's Godzilla. Got a little slippery slide right here. It'd have to rain really hard. Hey, lizard! We got a lizard. What are you doing, little guy? Huh? Huh? Yeah, look at this one. need to come here if you can. It's amazing. I love me some cool rock formations. <laughs> I brought my wife today. Actually, she said she wasn't going to miss this one for the world. So if you don't feel lucky, and you don't feel like you can win the lottery to the wave, you can come here, right to White Pocket. It's free, no lottery, not very many people, because the road's not that nice. It's awesome, it's a cool place.
That's a beautiful rock. What a strange landscape. I don't even know how it's possible. How do you get lizard scale looking rocks? It's weird. So cool. Got one more area I want to check out. I don't know if there's anything over there, but I want to go check it out. Just so I know.
GoPro down. This place is unbelievable. It's so cool. So if you don't like to gamble, have a sure winner, come out here. It's a little hard to find. It's very poorly marked. And Google takes you the wrong way. We did see some signs at the end of a road that said, this is not White Pocket Road. It was stupid. They didn't have any signs until I think it was a couple miles up the main road where we were actually supposed to be on. So come prepared to get lost. Have your four wheel drive, high clearance. It's a beautiful place. Definitely worth coming to see this. No lottery, no weight, and not very many people. I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. So they have a sign that says not the white pocket route. But the first sign you see, so you know that you're on the White Pocket Road, is about two miles up the road. I'm surprised anybody can find it. Maybe that's why Google says you need a guide, because they hid it from everybody.